What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRC Y Show. Today, I want to show you guys a few of these uh, idle games that I just started playing. You know what? I've seen ads for these when I'm playing either Exos or 100 Souls. And I'm like, let me give it a shot and see what it's all about. And <laughs> Trials of Heroes, the ad <laughs> looks nothing like <laughs> the game. So, I saw this dude just crawling through a dungeon in 3D, like, uh, spanking dudes. I was like, oh, hey, that's, uh, maybe I'll give that a try. So, no, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more graphically enhanced and doesn't feel as dated as this game, Trials of Heroes, try giving this other game a try, Idle War Legendary Heroes. So, Idle War Legendary Hero is literally from tutorial to the game is exactly the same as Trials of Heroes. Like the layout's the same. You have just like, you know, replaced uh, icons for here and stuff like that. Like the horns, the check-in, everything else about the game is the same. You have all of the taverns, you have the hero portals. So uh, the summoning halls, things are just moved around a little bit differently, but it's literally the same. So Trial of Heroes is like version 1. Where the Idle War Legendary Heroes is like version 2 at least of the game. And it's in 3D. And it's a, it's a little bit smoother. It's like, I don't know. It's just more vibrant in the sense if you like the graphics. But you know what? For all intents and purposes, for an Idle game, this game does it <laughs> does pretty good. But it's um the most annoying thing about Idle games or at least what I found so far when you are doing campaigns you will get hit with this you can't go on until your account level is at a particular level in the game meaning sleep on it <laughs> so sleep on it until you uh, are able to just like that like level up and then uh, you could go on and attack so since we just leveled up let's take a look and see what happens so I am, this is one of my accounts, so I think I tried, like, uh, another server and then on another account as well, too, and this is just one of my characters here, so I got this, uh, the Frost Giant Merlin you get for free, and I got Chaos, which was pretty cool, so I don't know anything about this game to be honest with you i just started about like four days ago but this is what it looks like so let's let's slow it down a notch i mean the graphics no joke if you like this nostalgic look of like back in early 2000 <laughs> where it's just like little sprite characters attacking each other and I can't go on anymore. So that is my frustration. I gained one level. I was able to do one more campaign. And then I'm hit with. Uh, it's unlocked at level 58. So this is one of my biggest gripe. I guess with. Uh, idle games. It forces you to like. Idle essentially. Like uh, like stop. Like you're not, you can't do anything else. So but there's a lot. Of things to do in this idle game and I think I've spent more time on this game than I did with exos or hundred souls so far from the past like uh, four or five days there is this mana spring there's this spring of spirit event that's going on where you're kind of uh, gambling if you get chips you get to uh, spin the wheel for these goodies and if you are a VIP which I'm not or you need to be level 80 everything's restricted by account level so it seems like you have to be invested in this game for at least a month, I would say, just to get your character up or your account up per that server to unlock these features. So it's, uh, I guess the replay like, play value is there if you just want to keep on re-rolling, starting from scratch and stuff like that. So, so far I have not hit a level cap with this tower or the dark tower. So... Maybe just because I haven't reached uh, up high enough, but there is this other event as well too. Let's speed this up a little bit more. And you know what? This skip feature doesn't come available until you are uh, level 60 or a VIP. So uh, there's certain things that restricts you from 
going through the game a little bit faster than you normally would because of level restrictions. So level restrictions seems to be the big thing with this particular idle game. I'm sure it's the same with the other ones that I'll show you as well too. So over here we have our Dragon Island and once you level up your main fortress over here you get uh, level 3 will unlock these specific dragons which will give you uh, buffs to a certain I don't know, like uh, more attack towards humans, priests, and all that jazz. And over here, you have boss battles. Since I don't have any friends, I can't really uh, win over certain things. So we'll just have to use our apple. So it consumes an apple. And you have like an apple tree. It's very similar to resource grinds. So here's your apple, which will refresh once every 160 minutes. <laughs> and then you'll get gold as well too which you could uh speed up and then you have an exploration that is 17 days out oh boy and this is what i've gathered so far and let's uh let's do a one of these boss battles so we are going to do a battle with just these units that i have here so uh, i think the only one that I would say was uh, pretty worth it was I don't know Merlin Merlin's pretty badass so Merlin hits really hard and let's see so my ice dragon is just getting wrecked but it also hits pretty hard as well too and then it is down so my mage up here that's level a hundred I put her up there because uh, she could actually tank because of this heal effect that she has so um as you can see, tanking a lot better than uh, my dragon. So I may want to switch that up. And I'll show you guys. So this position, like the tutorial is kind of like, I don't know, man. I kind of like learn as I went. And I've noticed that this particular position right here is like the tank position. I think if I read a guide or something like that, it may tell you. And then there is different factions and elementals. And then you'll also get these buffs and whatnot in terms of um your team composition if you have like this one for example deploy heroes with three races and two from each you'll get this buff effect so it's a very strategic type of game so you don't want to have all of the same unless you do unless that's one of it which is here where you deploy heroes from six race and one from each or i'm not sure if there's like the closest one where you get like um Deploy four heroes from a single race, I guess, be the disorder, but yeah. So anyways, there's a lot of different uh, tactics in the game, depending on how much characters you have. So again, I just started, and Merlin, as you saw, AoE is the shit in this game, because there's always a boatload of guys, and the harder you hit with an AoE, I guess the faster uh, you could kind of clear each battle. And I've noticed that when I re-rolled a few times i had like a single target unit that i thought looked pretty cool but it just kind of uh it kind of sucked <laughs> to be honest with you but uh an aoe a strong aoe seems to work well with this particular game so this is it this is uh trials of heroes there's a few things to uh you know like about the game i guess if you like this old school like sprite looking diablo 2 graphics <laughs> then this is the game for you but if you don't and it's just not your cup of tea uh don't play it i think it's uh it's worth a try at least again it's free to play don't have to invest any money in this game it's just you could try if you don't like it don't play it it's uh but you know what the graphics in this game is not too bad but it's like it feels really dated though for sure like um <laughs> that's all i could say so let's uh let's jump into ml adventure so ml adventure was running in the background over here but i wanted to uh kind of just check this out so this game feels a shitload more polished in terms of let's uh let's go ahead and start so i'm not going to uh skip this movie scenario because i want to show you guys what it kind of looks like so the production value 
in this idol game is insanely higher than uh, that other idol game that uh, we we're just sh like showing the trials of hero so again this is ML adventure and it's uh it's got some 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 stuff going on for it so you have a an updated like graphics animation like little movie cutscenes on specials and such like that but I believe you will still have this cap where you can't progress if your account level is not of a certain level as well too so I'm not sure if I hit that just yet with this game but I kind of just want to show you this as well too so this is also a free-to-play game you don't have to invest anything in it Right now, you are given, like, I think, like, a, this one right here, like, a five-star character. And I think I got lucky with that dragon dude. This is Zhu, uh, Yu, Yuhan, Z-H-O-N-G. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Yu, Yuhan. So he changes, like, the background of the map, which is really cool. If you see this here, like, once he does this special right here, the map changes essentially into his favor <laughs> or like into his realm which is like pretty badass and god like he is like that's one of the coolest animation that i've seen so far so like uh from this particular game but again i just started and let me just go back and this is like my hero roster so i got him from i guess a lucky pull essentially this is for free. Just from clearing chapter four, you will get uh, Karimet. <laughs> Karimet. So, uh, yeah, for free. And Lolita, I believe I got as a uh, chance roll. And Leslie, I think that is an event right now. So, you can get that for free. And that is a, uh, a luck from the roll. But uh, everything else is kind of like trash, I suppose. But... This is one of my accounts. So another account I have like a, what is it, Lancelot or Camelot or whatever. And it, he is a, uh, a beefed up version of Alucard. So Alucard is a type that is an assassin, will jump to the back of the row and start attacking everybody and killing them from behind essentially. So this account, I think I'm going to probably focus and make it into my main just because I have you Han so uh, you Han I think the Z is silent I'm not sure I could be wrong but this dude is pretty pimp man like uh, I got nothing against him and I think it's pretty cool that they have like really interesting animations in here and it's just like uh, they put forth the effort so there is some production value in this game so I, I like that so I think that's really nice so let's see let's uh let's do another campaign just to uh i guess get a visual eye candy from trials of hero versus ml adventure so it's uh it's completely different it's a little bit more of the afk arena type of battle which we will jump into last as well too so i did uh try afk arena as well too but you know what? I, I really wanted to get into the the other one, which was it. The one that we were just talking about that was exactly the same as Trials of Hero. But uh, the name just kind of escapes me at the moment. I think it's uh, Idol Wars. So uh, yeah, I wanted to get into that, but I've been having like shit luck rolls. So I was kind of like, screw it because the uh, <laughs> I wasn't getting lucky with the uh, RNG. So that is... A quick look of ML Adventure. So ML Adventure, of course, as you keep on playing through the campaign, you'll hit up the city where you could, um, you know, collect your quests and you could do your fusion shrine. Very similar to the other, like, uh, uh, like idol games as well too. And then you have your suburbs where you go into the labyrinth, which I did already. So, um, and again, like, I don't have any friends. <laughs> so sad but anyways that is uh that is it so this is ml adventure it's much more polished than trials of heroes again going back to like trials of heroes it's it feels pretty dated but i think if you like that type of game 
And if you don't mind the visual effects of it, it does the job. It'll keep you entertained. There's a few things that you could do, especially when you get into a guild. There are guild raid bosses that you could do. Take down, build up the guild. Again, I have no friends. And right now, just speaking of which, this popped up. Seven days, you get a six-star hero and you get Saber. And I am almost there in like, uh, how many more days? Four more days? So four more days, I will get Saber. And I don't know if any of these guys are good or not, but I <laughs> I just started. So one, two, three. So uh, my fourth day will be this massive resource. But I think if you uh, want to check this game out, it is... It's not too bad for an idle game. You log in, click, accept, uh, you know, get all of your, what is it, campaign rewards right here. And boom, just collect and uh, go back to bed or something like that. I don't know. Or don't play the game and just keep on collecting it and then collecting resources. And then when you do have the time, click on campaign and just kind of go through the campaign at your own pace. So I don't think this game has any like uh pressure aside from like the pressure of buying stuff i've noticed so they will hit you with ads to like hey you know what we have this for sale you want to you want to buy it and you could say uh no thanks and just uh be gone with you but again that this game has really cool animation they put forth a lot of effort in a freaking idle game so ml adventure yeah definitely worth checking out it's an upgrade from Trials of Hero visually. So uh, let's go into AFK Arena. So the screen is going to shrink down a little bit. Maybe I'll do something about that. So AFK Arena. So again, I just started playing this game. And here is my hero roster. So I got uh, Lucius. Or Lucius. Thane. Thane is pretty badass though. Like I was checking out his combat or his attacks. And then Nimora. That's a pretty good healer, so I got for free. And Isold seems pretty cool. And Rowan, I think, is super like useful, at least where I am. So let's uh let's see if I could um show you guys what this game looks like. So we went from trials to ML to AFK Arena. So let's uh let's take a look at their campaign. All these guys are a little bit harder, so I may die, hopefully not. I'm hoping not, <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh do it up so we're gonna keep it on auto there you go because I, I don't want to do it and we'll do normal speed first and then we'll do uh, two times speed just to show you guys what this game looks like so this guy Isold he's pretty beefy as a tank he could take hits but then he could also gain health himself which I think is really cool aside from just getting heals from the healer healer right there Nimora, so goat girl but this guy rowan what he has is this little cart so he starts off with uh three bottles of health potions that he'll use which is super helpful in terms of uh waiting for Nimora's group heal to pop up so he'll do these instant heals to whomever needs it and he'll also do this coin toss right here so the coin toss, if you see, it will increase their skill bar, like um, whatever it is, like uh, a little bit quicker. So that way they'll utilize their skill within that particular radius. So definitely super helpful. So again, just started the game probably like three days or so ago. Very similar to uh, when I started Trials and ML. And it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting game for an idle game. It doesn't have that flashy animation like we just saw with ML, but it's a, it's a pretty fun game. You just kind of watch your your guys go ahead and uh, start smashing guys down. And if you win, you win. If you lose, then you kind of either change up your character positions, your team positions to uh, wherever. Or if you have more characters, you could kind of, which I will show you. In a little bit there is a method of instantly leveling up a character that uh, you don't have to resource like resources for to the lowest level of this uh, temple thing so once we get out of here I will show you guys that so this is again AFK arena 
and there's tons of ads for it and I just wanted to give it a go and see what this is all about so let's uh let's go out of that and we are going to our ran horn and I believe it's this resonating crystal right here so I'm just gonna hit cancel so what this is let's read at the bottom a hero's level can be increased to match the lowest level hero that's currently on the pentagram so the lowest level hero right now is this guy so he is the lowest but you know what that's kind of like where everybody else is at so if I wanted to I could add like Belinda I believe is her name and then she'll be an automatic level 80 just like that so then I could use her in my other I guess the what is it like formation and if I wanted to try this tree guy for example boom now that's instantly level 80 so if we go back to our campaign which I think it's a pretty cool feature here so if I go into here and you know what I want to switch off um, Isolde with tree guy and you can see that he has a little uh, level that is whatever there and if I wanted to switch off um, I don't know him with an AOE I'm not sure that's the best idea but let's let's see what happens so here we go so yeah hopefully we don't die but uh, it kind of gives you guys like additional options like you could do whatever it is that you like to you don't have to level up every single character but you could utilize this game and kind of like play around and have fun with the different type of characters as well too and team setup so kind of happy <laughs> i didn't die so that's uh that's nice it's nice not dying during a, uh, a recording so there you go so this is afk arena so again i just started about uh three days ago and most of my guys are like level 80 right now so uh i'm not sure what the max is again there's plenty for me to learn i think i'm only on whatever campaign mode but you could also see the status who dealt the most damage during that particular round and who uh did the most heals and who had the most blocks or damage taken so there's tons of uh statistics that you could take a look at so on stage 6 out of 27 so chapter 6 27 or whatever and so yeah there's tons of stuff to look into so that is the trio of i guess idol games minus this uh idol war legendary heroes that i may uh show you guys later if i ever get a decent role but i like this particular role right now ml adventure because i got this guy i'm gonna give it a solid try for a little bit longer just to see if I would uh, recommend you uh, playing it. I mean, you could always play whatever it is that you want to play. But uh, again, the graphics on this game, it is much higher in terms of production value than uh, all of the other idle games. So uh, I would say definitely out of these three, it would be ML, AFK, then Trials of Hero. And then again, the uh, idle war legendary heroes I haven't really hit up so much but it's exactly the same as trial of heroes but just an updated uh visual of it but uh that is it for my idol games that i just started checking out so i hope you guys uh enjoy it and maybe uh check it out yourself and uh that's about it and peace and have a wonderful rest of your day so yeah later <laughs>